Look at that, I got carried away with it and completely forgot I was on the five minute videos in this crappy room. So 12 times five, S is 60 meters. So I know that it went 60 meters across and 42 meters down, up 42.5 meters down. So that's its kind of its displacement, isn't it? 60 meters horizontally and 42 meters vertically. So the actual distance that I want using Pythagoras, you can use rulers, it's awesome. I can't really use a ruler. So its actual distance to two sig fig is 74 meters to two sig fig. I tend to put a more accurate one here. I've said this before, but I'm just copying off the completed pack. So for speed, you can do if you want. Right, so that's that part done. That's its actual distance. Part C says, where we see is find the speed and direction when it hits the ground. So I can't use the symmetry now, but I do know how far it's travelled, and I do know the flight time, and I do know you, so I've got plenty of information to work with. So let's have a look then. So vertically, S was minus 42.5. Uh, U, we said, was... Four fifths of twenty, so sixteen. V is what I want. A is minus nine point eight, and T was what was our flight time? Was it five seconds? I think it was, wasn't it? Oh, can't see it's all the way up here. Five seconds. There. So I want something, I've got all the information, I just choose the easiest one I want. Because I've got loads of information now. And the easiest one is V equals U plus AT. So V is um, 16 plus a minus 9.8 times 5. Which is minus 33 metres per second. So that's okay, because that's just telling you it's going down. So that's fine. Horizontally, so S was 60 meters, U we said was, what was it, it was 3 fifths, that was, that was 12, wasn't it? V we want, A is 0, T is 5. V equals U plus AT, well remember what we said about the speed, the speed is constant, isn't it? Horizontally. It isn't really, but it's just a, an assumption that we made to make it easier. So V is 12. So I want the speed and the direction, don't I? Yeah. So let's do, we'll put it aside here. Let's make a triangle then. So a speed triangle. Or just a triangle really, isn't it? Don't tell physics. So 12 across, 33 down. So the actual speed, I'm just going to pause it again. I'm going to do Pythagoras, and then I'm going to do the angle. I'll use theta for the angle, okay? So, hang on. Oops, oh, messing it up. There, so I got, using Pythagoras, I got a speed of 35 to 2 sig fig, and then the direction I got that, so it's speed, 35 meters per second at 70 degrees below the horizontal. And I think that's all that wants this question. They're not that bad, these. Yeah, that's done. There is a question for you on the other side. What I'll do is I'll pause it because I'm running out of time and I'll just reveal everything. Right then, so just looking at this. Oops, move that. There. There we go. All right, well done, everybody.